Hello dear, I will be traveling for work this morning. And you are just telling me now. Yes, what would the information do for you if I had told you before now? It is normal to let me know your plans and decisions beforehand. You mean I should get permission from you before I travel? No, it's not about taking permission. It is simply letting me know about your decisions. Well, I am the man in this house and I don't need your permission to do whatever I feel like doing. How would you feel, if I do the same thing to you? You can't try it. You are my wife and you are under me. You don't have the right, sweetheart. Okay. So how long will you be gone? Probably two weeks. Wow. Is it too long or too short? I plan to go for auditing next week and I won't be home for three days. If you had told me your plans before now, I would have chosen someone else to go. It is not too late. Find someone to go for you. That's not fair, dude. Yeah, I know right. That's how God made it. Man is the head of the woman. Okay. Good morning Maria. Hi Sally. How are you doing today? Maria, you came late today. What happened? My husband traveled this morning without telling me about it before. I had to go drop him at the airport. Traveled without telling you about it? Who does that? I am sure it is an oversight or an emergency. That's wrong. Very wrong. Come and Sally. He is a man, and he is the head of our house. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Except for my work. I'm supposed to travel for three days next week. I need to go and audit a firm. If I had known he would travel today, I would have picked another person to go for me. That is why I said his decision not to tell you about it before now is very wrong. It's okay, Sally. I will find a way around it. Okay. Hello dear. Hi my love. You are welcome back. How was your trip? It was fine, except that I spent all the money on me. I thought it was the company that sent you. Yes. Then they should have provided money for your upkeep. They did, but the money wasn't enough. Duke, you have to be careful how you spend money. You always love to buy things that are not necessary sometimes. What is your problem with that? Is it your money I spent over there? It is not my money, but at least be careful how you spend it. You are still repeating it again. I am the head of this house and I have the right to do whatever I want. Okay, sir. Good, that's how it should be. Now, I need some money from you. I will present my budget to the company's accountant for reimbursement and get it to you later in the month. I don't have enough money in my account. The money I have is for my upkeep during the month. What is the meaning of that? I said I need money and you are talking about upkeep. Will you carry your phone and transfer some money to my account before I wipe out all the money in your account? Okay, okay. Don't be angry. I will transfer the money to you. Good. Hi Maria, where is your car? There is no fuel in it. What do you mean by that? Calm down Sally. My husband collected the money in my account for his runs during the month, so I had nothing much left for fuel. Ah, uh, I don't understand. Don't you guys do a budget at the beginning of the month? Not really. I take care of the bulk of the expenses because I earn more, and he takes care of the children's school expenses. So why is he collecting your money to add to his own? He doesn't have enough money in his account to spend for the rest of the days of the month. Maria, you need to watch it. Why will you be suffering when you should have money to use for the rest of the month? So, you prefer to sacrifice your money for him and then you will suffer in return. Yes, Sally. If I don't do it there won't be peace in that house. Don't worry, I will manage myself for the rest of the month. After all, the month is half gone. Okay, I pray for God's help for you. Amen. Hi Duke. Hi Frank. How was your journey back? It was great. Only I finished spending all the money on me. I thought the company gave you a traveling allowance. It wasn't enough. I went to top luxury restaurants in the city to eat. I also stayed at a luxurious hotel to enjoy myself. You should have stayed within your budget. No way. It is an opportunity for me to enjoy life. So, how will you cope for the rest of the month? I took some money from my wife. I told her I would collect it back for her from the accountant. 
Is that not a lie? Yes, it is. But I need the money. I am the head of the house so she has to obey and be submissive to me. You don't have to rub it in her face. I don't like the way you maltreat that woman. She needs her money too. But she earns more than I do. She should be lucky that I did not collect all her salary from her. You can't do that. Please treat her with the respect she deserves. I am the one that deserves to be respected as the head of the house. Okay, do it your own way. But make sure you pay her money back. Pay back. That's not happening. Okay. Ah, oh, I need more money. My salary is hardly enough. What can I do to get more money without doing much work? Okay, I will look into it. Hi boss. Hi Ben. You looked so happy today. Did you win a lottery? How do you know, sir? I just guessed. Actually, I played a sports bet and won yesterday. Is that so? Yes, sir. So how many bets did you place and how much did you win? Boss, I placed just a $100 bet and I $10,001. Wow, is that so? Yes, sir. Congratulations Ben. Thank you sir. Yes, this is the answer to my question, sports betting. But then, I am a Christian. Are Christians allowed to play sports betting? But then, gambling seems like a lack of faith in God's ability to provide financially. Hmm. Yes, I know God can provide, but I need money fast. I want to live a good life. I can actually place a bet of 200 and win 20,000. What if I place 500, I will win $50,000 and if I place $1,000, I will win $100,000. I will need more than $100. Why not place like $5,000 at a time and win $500,000? That's a lot of money at this time. Yeah, with that money I can live the type of life I want to live. I love luxurious things, a luxurious house, cars, food, etc. But then, how will I get $5,000? I can't ask my wife for $5,000, she will want to know what I want to do with it. How do I raise $5,000? What do I have that can pay for it? Okay, I have my car. I can sell my car. But then, what if I lose, what will I use for transportation? Hmm, I will collect my wife's car. After all, all she has belongs to me. I will take her car. But what will she be using for her own transportation? That's her own cup of tea. But what if I lose? I will win. I can't play and lose. I will win, yes, I will win. Oh God, what have I done? I am in trouble. Why would I sell my car to go and bet? Now, my car is gone. What will I tell my wife now? Wow. Just like that. No problem. Like I said before, I will collect her car. Hello babe. How was work today? Work was fine. Where is your car? I can't see it outside. It's with the mechanic. It developed a fault while I was coming home. Oh so sorry about that. So, when are you getting it back? He said I should come for it tomorrow. But the thing is, I don't have enough money to collect it. Can I get a small loan from you? A small loan. The other time I gave you money, you did not return it. So, I don't have any money to give you. What is the meaning of that? I own you and everything you have, plus your money. Send some money to my account if you don't want me to give you a very dirty slap. Do it now. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will do it now. You always forget that I am the head of this house. You better be careful. Please don't be angry. I am hungry. Go into the kitchen and make food for me. Okay, sir. Look at my wife coming out of her car. I am tired of taking taxis to work while my wife enjoys driving her car. I will collect the car from her. I think it is time to do that now. Dear, you are welcome. Thank you dear. How was work today? It was fine, thank you. Go and freshen up and come and eat dinner. Dinner. You made dinner. Yes, dear, 
I don't want you to trouble yourself today, so I decided to make dinner for you. Wow. Thank you, dear. You are welcome, my love. Thanks for the meal, dear. My pleasure. Dear, I want to tell you something and I don't want you to be angry. What is it? Dear, I did something that I am not proud of. What did you do, Duke? I was actually doing it for us. I wanted us to have all the necessities of life and get to enjoy our lives. Yes, go on. Then an idea came to my mind. Hmm, it was actually one of the staff in our office that came to tell me about how he played sports betting and won. Yes, what has that got to do with you? Please be calm. Yes, I am calm. So, after he left, my mind went to work and I started calculating how much I could win if I put in a large sum of money. I thought of how to raise the money for the bet. So, it came to my mind that I could sell my car to raise money and when I won, I could buy a new car to replace it. Okay. So, I called my auto mechanic to find out how to go about it. Together we sold the car and I went to the sports betting office. I played the game with the whole money and it just went like that. I did not win. What? Duke. How can you be so irresponsible? How can you play sports betting to get money? How can you sell your car to play a bet? Hey, hey, stop talking to me like that. It is my car after all. Did I borrow money from you to buy the car? Please let me be. Okay, I will let you be. Please sit down, I have not finished. What is there to talk about again? I need your car. Give me your car so I can use it. You can always use a taxi or Uber. Me. Maria give you my car. You are joking, right? Who says I am joking? How can I be using a taxi to work while my wife rides in a luxurious car? You sold your car, dear. I did not sell it for you. You did. So deal with it. I hope you still remember that I am the head of this house and anything I say stands. You and all you have are mine. So, I have the right to demand for your car. Not this time, dear. It won't work. You are the head of the house and you are making terrible decisions without letting me know. You won't disclose your plans to me until you have carried them out. Is that how the head of the house should behave? Hear me and hear me well. I am not giving you my car. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. Okay, you are daring me now. You have grown wings to that extent. Okay, we will see. Yes, we shall see. Sally, I am finished. Totally finished. What is it? You can't be finished as long as God is on the throne. My husband sold his car. He used the money to play sports betting. Sports betting? How did he come about it? He is a Christian for crying out loud. What concord has Christ with Belial? That was my God exactly. Anyway, he sold his car, played sports betting, and lost. Wow, really? This is not good at all. Calm down, Sally. You've not heard it all. What is it again? He demanded for my car to replace his own. Yes, he said I can't be riding in a car while he is walking. What was your response? My sister, I refused, and he insisted. He reported me to our pastor. Report you to your pastor? Yes, he did. The pastor said my husband said that I am not submissive. So, the pastor began to read the scriptures and said I must submit to my husband and everything as the Bible said. Ah, uh -huh. yes, he said I must give him the car that it is a sign of submission. I must do it if I want peace in my marriage, and if I want my marriage to work. Wow, yes, so I had no option. So, you gave him the car? Yes, I have to do it. I am so angry and pissed off right now. Why would you do that? If I don't, the pastor will say that I am not submissive to my husband. Submissive? Really? I am so angry right now. So how do you intend to come to work from now on? I will use a taxi or Uber ride. This guy is riding on your head Maria. The annoying thing is that you allow him. I don't have an option here. I want peace in my marriage. And this is the best way you think you can have peace? For now, yes. This is not submission Maria, it is slavery. Whatever it is, at least I have peace for now, and my marriage is intact. Okay. Duke, where is your car? My car. I invested it in a project and it failed. You. Invested in a project. I don't believe you. Spill the truth right now. 
Okay, okay. Calm down. Actually, I sold it to play sports betting. You did what? It was actually a mistake. I sold it, placed the bet and lost. Wow. Duke, I don't know what to say. How can you do that? I am sure you were looking for a get-rich scheme to fund your fake luxurious lifestyle. Something like that. You know I like living a good life. But you shouldn't do that at the expense of your assets. So, where did you get the car you brought this morning? That's my wife's car. You mean you took your wife's car? What is she using to work? Uber or a taxi of course. I can't be walking why she is using a car. I am the head of the home. Oh oh, poor woman. What did your wife do to you that makes you always want to punish her? She is my wife and she has to obey me in all things. May God help your wife. Amen and help you too. Hem, I can't sit down like this and do nothing. I have to think of ways to make more money so I can get to enjoy this life. What do I do now? Should I try the sports betting stuff again? Maybe this time, luck will smile on me. I think I will do just that. But wait, what will I tell my wife if I play sports betting and lose? No, I don't think I will lose. I won't allow her to know until I win. Then, I will buy two cars, one for her and one for me. We will also build a new house. Change our settee in the living room and buy more things. Probably create a swimming pool for our children and for me to relax on weekends. Wow, what a life. Yes, I will sell the car tomorrow and play. Surely, I will win this time. Hello dear, how was work today? What is it, Duke? It is the car. My car. What happened to my car? Hem, hem. I am getting worried, Duke. What happened to my car? I went out to a mall in town and packed at the front of the mall. When I finished buying the things I went there for, I went outside, looked everywhere and the car was gone. Which car was gone? Your car of course. You are joking right? Joke. How can I joke with things like this? Wow. Duke, I am sure you are lying. What did you just say? I, your husband is lying. You better mind your words. What effrontery. Is it because I borrowed your old car that you are calling me a liar? Please get out of my sight and don't make me get angry. Get angry you said. On top of losing my car. What kind of a man are you? If you talk to me like that again, I will give you a very dirty slap. Please go on and give me the dirty slap. God, what kind of a man did I marry? I shouldn't have given you the car for God's sake. But you gave me and it's gone. What do you want to do about it? What do I want to do about it? Okay. We shall see. My friend, come and enter the kitchen to make my food. I am very hungry. Oh God. What did I do to deserve this kind of life? I have been serving you faithfully Lord. How can I be gathering and my husband will be scattering? For how long will I continue to live like this? Please, Lord help me. I don't know what to do. Hi everyone. We are here to discuss something very important. The management of the company had a meeting. During the meeting they decided that opportunities should be given to staffs that wants to go back to school to get more degrees. The company will do all it can to support you. As heads of departments, pass down this information to staffs under you. Is that okay? On behalf of the staffs of the company, I will like to appreciate the company for the opportunity given to all of us. We are grateful. That's okay. Hi Duke, how was work today? Very fine, thanks. How was yours too? It was okay. Duke, I want to talk to you about something. Yes, what is it? I need to go for a one-year course so I can update my certificate and also prepare for the managerial position in the company. One-year course? For what? I said to prepare for the managerial position in the company. No, you can't take the course. I am not traveling. I will do it in a university in town. It doesn't matter. You are not taking the course. Why? If I may ask. You want to be a manager. A manager. What's funny about being a manager? 
I am not yet a manager in my office and you want to become a manager. You've forgotten that I am the head of this house. How can the neck be greater than the head? It doesn't work that way, dear. Can you imagine what you are saying? So if you are not a manager in your office, I can't become a manager in my office. Yes, that's right. I am not even there yet. I just want to get more exposure in my line of work. Whatever. All I know is, you are not taking the course. I am not asking for the school fees. I can pay it on my own. Even at that, the answer is still, no. Oh God, what is happening to me? All my plans to raise money to live a good life failed. What am I going to do now? My salary is not enough for me, talkless of using it to play sports betting. What can I do? Oh okay, I remember. Maria is earning quite a lot. I can collect her salary and use it to play. Yes, I think I should do that. I know I will win. I just know it. Maria how was work today? Fine thanks. Maria, I have a request to make. Request? What request? I need your salary at the end of the month. You said what? Yes, you heard me. I need your salary at the end of the month. Is this a joke? I don't joke when I am serious Maria. I need to make an investment that will yield 10 times the money. Then use your salary. Nah, my salary is not enough for me. Then take a loan. No, I don't want a loan. I want your salary. Sorry, that's impossible. You said what? Impossible. Hem, this woman, you are trying me. Trying you. It will never happen. Read my lips, never happen. Where do you want me to get the money for food in the house? How do we pay bills? How much percentage of your salary do you give for house runs? Please just leave me alone. Are you saying I don't contribute to house runs? I just want to help your life by investing your money so you can earn big. Thanks, I am okay with what I earn. I don't need more. But I am not asking you. I am demanding it. Sorry Duke, it won't work. Are you talking to me like that? How am I talking to you? We are discussing as adults. Discussing, and you are telling me it won't work. Who owns you? Who owns your money? I do. So you give it to me when I ask for it. Is that okay? No, sir. It still won't work. If you say that again, you will receive a dirty slap. It still won't work. You are awake, thank God. So how are you feeling right now? Sally, uh, 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 uh. So sorry Maria, what happened to you? Your husband said you fainted suddenly. What is it? Is that what he told you? Yes. Well, we had a fight and he beat me till I fainted. What? This is becoming dangerous Maria. You need to do something before things get out of hand. Yes, Sally. I am doing something about it this time around. Enough is enough. What do you plan to do? I need a place to stay for now. I need to put back the pieces of my life before I lose everything. What do you mean by that? Did you know he requested for my salary? He did what? And I don't think he will stop demanding things from me. I am afraid he can sell me to the highest bidder or even accidentally kill me since he is so desperate to get rich. Hmm. I need to leave and save myself first and restore the remaining dignity I have. What about the children? They will be fine. They are in school for now. I will pick them up when school closes. Hmm, what if he did not allow you to go? I am leaving from here. I will stay with my aunt in town for a while. Thereafter, I will get a place of my own. Are you thinking of divorce? No, not at all. I just want to rest for a while and put back the pieces of my life. For how long? As long as it takes for me to recover. The beatings won't stop. I don't want to lose my life in the process. Look at me now. Look at my body. I can't take it anymore Sally. Do you know that he sold my car? No. Yes, he did, Sally. There is no future with Duke. He will keep exploring ways to make money until he eventually sells me to the highest bidder. I tell you, it will get to that sooner or later. God forbid Maria. Okay. Hi Maria, 
How are you feeling now? I am fine. The doctor said you are free to go home. So, I came to pick you up. Sorry, Duke. I have heard enough. I need a break. A break from what? A break from your troubles. I am done, Duke. I am not going back home with you. Hem, this is a joke right? Joke. I don't joke and you know it. Maria, I will count 1 to 10. If you don't move to the car, I will give you a beating that will keep you here for the next 6 months. I am not going with you. Do your worst. Yes, what did you just say now? You want to give her another beating that will keep her here for the next 6 months. Ah Duke, you are very wicked. I don't blame you, it's my niece who has been taking your nonsense. If your name is actually Duke, raise your hand on her if you will not sleep in jail tonight. Aunt, I am talking to my wife and not you, please. Stay out of our business. You made it my business when you sent her to the hospital. Now, it is our business. She is going home with me. You are joking aunt, Maria is my wife. Now you know she is your wife. If you had used beating to send her to the world beyond, would you still have a wife? Leave the road for me and let us pass. This is not the last aunt. I am coming for my wife. Okay, let me see those skinny legs of yours in my house, you will know what I can do to you. Aunt leave my wife for me. Come and carry her now and let me see. I saw the doctor and he said you can go home. I have paid the bills and I have your drugs with me. Thanks aunt. Maria. Aunt. Why did you allow things to deteriorate to this extent? Aunt. I wanted to keep my marriage intact. I wanted peace to reign in my home. It was because you always allow him to have his ways that has given him the boldness to demand for your salary, even after selling your car. I was only trying to honor and submit to him as a husband. That is not how submission works. The Bible says in Ephesians 5:22 to 24 wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. However, it's important to note that the broader biblical context emphasizes mutual submission, with Ephesians 5.21 urging all believers to submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. In a healthy Christian marriage, submission should be reciprocal, with both partners considering and respecting each other's needs and feelings. Clearly, your husband does not respect nor consider how you feel. Again, you are instructed by God to submit as long as your husband is not asking you to do anything sinful, something that will violate your biblical conscience and or, something that will put you or your children in danger. Now, he is beating you thereby putting your life in danger. Do you remember the story of Ananias and Sapphira? The story is in the book of Acts chapter 5. Now, Sapphira instead of cautioning her husband not to lie to God, submitted to him and refused to question her husband. This led to their deaths. This could have been prevented if Sapphira had stood up and said no to her husband because he was no longer walking in the will of God. No, you shouldn't submit on all occasions if he makes a bad decision that will lead the family astray or to destruction. For instance, Queen Esther in the book of Esther 8. Haman through the command of the king wanted to destroy the Jews in the land. Esther heard about it and decided to risk her life to save her people. What if Esther had kept quiet because she was saved and the calamity would not get to her and she decided to submit to the will of her husband to destroy her people? There would have been a genocide. But she chooses not to submit to the king in that regard so she can save her people. So don't keep quiet when your husband is maltreating you. Speak out and get help. Don't die in your marriage. At least step out for a while to regain your sanity. Thanks aunt. You are welcome, dear. What do you want to eat? Not now, aunt. Thanks. I need to rest first. Hi Duke, what is the problem? It's my wife. Your wife. What happened to her? We had a little disagreement and I pushed her down by mistake and she fainted. What? Duke, why would you do that? I said it was a mistake. I was angry. I asked her to give me her salary for the month and she refused. I wanted to help her to invest it so she could earn more but unfortunately she did not understand the process. So I got angry. So you beat her and she fell down. 
You omitted that part. What if I beat her? Ah Duke, seriously. Why are you like this? Why am I like this? I meant well. Why didn't you use your own salary? It is not enough for me and the investment. So what happened after she fainted? I rushed her to the hospital and she was admitted. So, how is she right now? She is fine. She was discharged yesterday, but she refused to follow me back to the house. Finally, your wife received sense. What is the meaning of that? It means her eyes suddenly opened when you gave her the beating of her life. I didn't really beat her much. It was just to make her fear me and give me the money. But it did not work. Ah Duke, you have a good home. God gave you a lovely and obedient wife, yet your sudden appetite for luxurious things will not allow you to rest. You will go to all extents to fulfill the desire. You need deliverance, seriously my friend, you do. Okay, now, please don't start. I am a believer and a Christian. What kind of deliverance do I need? You need to confess your sins and repent first. Please leave that alone. The point is, I am already missing my wife. What did you just say? I missed my wife. It's only been a few days and I am already lonely in the house. I want her back. That's a good one. At least you still have feelings for her. What do you mean by that? I love my wife. If you love your wife, you won't be doing the nonsense you are doing to her all in the name of being the head of the house. You won't lay a finger on her. I think I went overboard. I don't know what has come over me. I just want more money. But men, I have learned my lesson. I was afraid when my wife fainted. I thought she was dead. What if I had killed her? Where would I be by now? Lord, please help my life. If you want your wife back, you know where to go look for her. I do, but that her aunt is scary. She warned me not to come near her house. So you are scared of her aunt. Wow. She was very angry at me at the hospital. Okay, then. You have to look for someone that will help you first of all beg the aunt to allow you to see your wife. Then, you beg your wife. Me, a whole man. Beg that pompous woman and my wife. For what? I thought you said you missed her. Yes, but that doesn't mean I will go begging the two of them. Okay, then stay back and watch your wife move on without you. No, she can't do that. She loves me. Okay, don't go and get your wife. You will soon lose her if you don't act now. I don't know. I will think about it. But I missed her food, her presence in the house. Gosh, I need my wife back. I don't think so. Your suggestion will not work for me. I will look for other ways that don't involve begging. Okay, I wish you good luck. Thanks. I miss Maria. I can't stay back any longer. I need my wife. I love my wife. I want her back. At this point, I will do anything to get her back. She doesn't even call me. Did she still love me after all I have done to her? Lord, please forgive me for all the bad things I have said and done to my wife. I am truly sorry. I will love and cherish her from now on. I need to go look for her. Yes, what do you want? Aunt, please. I come in peace. I am very sorry for disrespecting you at the hospital. Disrespecting me? You did more than that. Okay, aunt. I am very sorry for all the things I said to you and Maria and all the things I did to her. I am really sorry. Sorry doesn't fix broken things. I am sorry aunt. Please, I want to see my wife. I missed her. I love her. Ah uh -huh. Duke what did you just said? I love and missed my wife. You are funny. How can you love a woman that you almost send to the world beyond? Does that sound like love to you? I know aunt, I was foolish. It will never happen again. Well, stay here and let me ask her if she wants to see you. She will see me, aunt. I am sure she misses me too. Don't be too sure about that. Please aunt. Okay. Maria, your husband is here to see you. Aunt, I don't want to see him. Okay. Duke, unfortunately, Maria doesn't want to see you. Aunt, please, I want to see her. I want to see my wife. Ah, Duke, what do you want me to do? She said she doesn't want to see you. Maybe you should come back at another time. No, Aunt, I want to see her today. I am afraid, that is not possible. Okay. Hi Duke, how far with your wife? Is she back home now? No, 
I am still pleading with her. The painful thing is that she doesn't even want to see me. I am sure she is still hurting. Give her some time, I am sure she will come around. I hope so, Frank. I miss her so much. I hope she forgives me. She will. Don't worry. She is a good woman. Yes, Maria is a good woman. I took advantage of her goodness, now see what is happening. I am losing my home. Calm down, Duke. You can't lose your home. Everything will be okay. If you say so. Yes, it will. Hey Maria, thank God you are outside. I love and miss you so much my darling. What are you doing here Duke? Have you come to beat me up again? That will never happen again. Please forgive me dear, I am sorry. What are you sorry for, Duke? Is it my car that you sold to play betting the course that can lead to my advancement in my career that you did not allow me to go for, or the beating that almost ended my life? Which one are you sorry for? I am sorry for all of them and much more dear. Please forgive me. I have changed. I will never lay my hands on you again. Ever. I will never maltreat you again. You can keep your salary. Don't give it to me again. Just come back home dear. No Duke sorry does not fix things. Because you did not allow me to go for the course, I cannot apply for the post of manager again this year. I don't have a car to drive. No, Duke, I am not coming back. Please dear, what can I do to make you come back home? I will do anything you say, please, just come back home. Okay, are you sure you will do anything for me to come back home? Yes, I will. Okay, good. One you will not take any decision without my input, never. Do you agree? Hmm, but I am the head of the house and as such should be able to do what I want. I see you don't want me back. You can go please, the head of the house. No. No, please Maria, I want you back. Okay, I agree. Making decisions together as a couple is the right thing to do. We are a team and should play as such so that we can always win together. Okay, next. Next you will buy me another car to replace the one you sold. Ah uh, Maria, where do you want me to get the money to buy a car? Should I go back inside? No, no, please. I will look for the money to buy the car. Number three. You will never ever raise your hands on me again. Yes, I am very sorry my dear, it will never happen again. Great. Number 4. You will allow me to go for my course at any university of my choice. Maria, any university of your choice. But you said you will go to the university in town. Please, Maria, go to the one in town. Okay. Number 5. Wow, Maria, are my sins that many? Yes, they are. I just want my wife back. Come and give me a hug. I have missed you, my love. It's just been two months plus, and you are making it look like five years. Yes, I missed your cooking, your presence around the house, your side of the bed looks empty. I don't know I miss you this much. <laughs> Please come with me, Maria. I love you so much. I will come back. But not now. I need to recover from the beatings you gave me. I took time off work. When I am done, I will come back home. Please Maria, I love you and I need you now. Do you want me to bring my bag and come to stay with you here? Please let's go home. Okay, wait for me here. Who are you talking with outside? It's Duke, aunt. He came to plead with me again. Do you want to go back with him? He seems to be repentant and loving too. It's been a long while since I heard him profess his love for me. I love and miss him too, aunt. It's okay Maria, I know you love your husband. One thing though. What is that aunt? Always look R for yourself. Don't let him trample on you ever again. Okay, aunt. Thank you so much for everything. It's my pleasure dear. Okay, I am ready. Let's go. Wow, you mean you are going back to the house with me? Yes do. I love you too and have missed you. Thanks my love. Wow. I love this story. Please submission in marriage should be reciprocal. As a man, don't use it as a tool to maltreat and humiliate your woman. As a woman learn to submit to your husband, but not to the point where your life 
or that of your children can be in danger. May God grant us wisdom in Jesus' name. Please like, share, and leave a comment for me below.